Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make broiled shrimp with a lado lemon or dressing. So lado lemon I've made before on this channel and you can get the recipe on there. We're pretty much going to put it together here one more time. It's a lemony olive oil dressing that goes great on almost anything. You can put it on um, over fish like as a dressing. You can use it as a marinade on chicken, potatoes. You can use it as a salad dressing. It's really yummy. Um, the ingredients are very simple for it. They're freshly squeezed lemon juice, and you always, I always say, I said it once and I'll say it a million times, you never, ever, ever substitute fresh lemon juice for the lemon juice that already comes in those funky green containers in the supermarket. That stuff is good, my friends, just for cleaning. That's it. You never want to substitute it. It's really simple to squeeze lemons. You don't even need this little contraption. Just make sure you use the real thing. So you need um, <clears throat> lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, really good olive oil, salt, pepper, oregano, and some minced garlic. That's, that's all for the dressing. Now we're going to season um, the shrimps. Now anytime I buy shrimp, I like to buy wild caught shrimp. I'm definitely not at all a fan of getting any type of farm raised fish. It is not good for you. It doesn't taste good. I mean, I prefer uh, jumbo shrimp, but I couldn't find any for some reason. All the supermarket sells is farm raised. So I got whatever I could find wild, and they're these medium sized ones. They're not too bad. We're going to dress, we're going to marinate them, um, or I mean, season them with some olive oil, um, granulated garlic powder, some crushed red pepper flakes, a little bit of cumin powder, salt, pepper, and dried oregano. That's it. I have set my oven to broil, to the high broil setting, and I've moved my um, oven rack to the highest setting so it's close, as close as possible to the heating element, right? Because you want to get a nice, um, very good broil out of it. You don't want it to cook slowly. You want it to cook fast at a high heat, and you want it to be close to the heating element. So I'm going to put my shrimp in um, my baking dish, and you want to make sure that you Peel them and devein them like I've done, and just leave the tail on because it makes it easier to um, pick them up and eat them. So I'm going to pour just a little bit of olive oil on these. I'm going to sprinkle some salt. Let me spread them out. Let me spread them out before I start seasoning. Now I like to season like this. I feel like I get a nice good uh, coating of seasoning on it when it's in the pan. Some people like to do it in the bowl. I like to do it in the pan. That's fine. Do it whichever way you want. I have exact measurements on my website, but with salt, there's really no exact measurements because some people like it a little more salty than others. And some people kind of shy away from salt. So, you know, make it how you like it. This is freshly um, dried oregano from my backyard. So I just need to do this a little bit to kind of release the oils and crush it up a little bit. And I definitely don't have a green thumb. My, ha my husband and my son, they love to grow things in the backyard. But even I can grow oregano. <laughs> it's really simple. You just plant it and it keeps growing. It grows throughout the winter. It just keeps on growing, at least here in Texas. And you can just bring it, cut it, bring it in and dry it. And you can have oregano all year long. Why wouldn't you, right? So we're going to put some freshly ground pepper. My favorite crushed red pepper flakes. I put them in almost everything. And put as little or as much as you like, depending on how spicy you like it. I like my food a little bit on the spicy side. We're going to put a little bit of garlic powder. Not that much, because the dressing is going to have garlic as well, and you don't need that much garlic in here. And a tiny bit of cumin powder. And I like cumin. It gives it a nice earthy flavor. You don't like it, leave it out, that's fine. Broiling is really nice. It's a good alternative to grilling if you want to get that same kind of like nice um, color and flavor on your food without having to go outside and do it, you know, if you don't have a grill or if it's too cold out. I love the broiler. I love broiling chicken. I like broiling fish, shrimp. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to season lightly with salt, pepper, and all the same things one more time. I'll put a few less pepper flakes this time because I kind of went heavy the first time. 
I don't mind it, and my kids might not want to eat it that spicy. Put a little bit more cumin powder, and a little bit of garlic powder. We're going to mix these all up. Make sure they're all combined in case I missed a few guys. Now you want to make sure if you're doubling this recipe, and you might want to do it because it's that good, um, you make sure that the pan is not overcrowded. Now, I'm sure two pound, this is one pound of shrimp. I'm sure that two pounds of shrimp can fit easily on here. But uh, sometimes if you try to go crazy and try to fit too much in one pan, what's going to happen is instead of it cooking evenly and getting a nice crust on the outside, it's going to release a lot of liquid and kind of be almost as if you sauteed it or boiled it. And that's not what you're going for with this broiled shrimp. Anyway, I'm going to pop this in the oven and it's set on boil again. I'm going to boil it for about five to six minutes on each, shot, on each side and then I'll show you what it looks like um, when they come out. I'm going to do five or six minutes on one side, flip them over and do it again on the other side and then they'll be ready. In the meantime, while that's happening, I'm just going to combine my Lado Lemono ingredients together. Alright, so my shrimp is done cooking. And look at it, how beautiful it is. It's gotten crispy on the outside, and I can tell it's really juicy on the inside. These are little guys, so they've shrunk a lot, but you know what? At least they're healthy, they're wild, they're not that farm-raised, yucky stuff. So whatever you can find, whatever's in season, just use that, that's fine. So I'm just going to plate them with some couscous that I made earlier. This goes really good with couscous. I also love it with spanakorizo, which is my spinach rice pilaf that you should definitely try making if you haven't. It's also on my website and on this channel. Look for it and make it with this, it's delicious. I'm not gonna put all these on the plate, I'm not gonna eat all of them, I'm just gonna eat a few. And to save some for the kids. And oh, one less. I'm gonna mix up my Lado Lemono again and pour a little bit on here. Look how pretty it is. That is delicious. Make sure you make this, you guys. I would love to hear your comments. Post some more comments. A lot of you send me um, private emails and messages on Facebook. Post your comments down below. I'll answer, I'll answer them the same way I do my emails. And you know, post pictures of the, of the recipes that you've made at home. Let me know what, you, what else you like to learn, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.